everyone, welcome to another video, and today I have a massive book haul to show you guys. I got a lot of books uh, recently, a lot, a ton, I went to a few places. Uh, I'm, setting, uh, I'm separating this into two parts. The first part will be uh, the books I got from Target, uh, I got a book outlet package uh, a week or so ago, and I also went to uh, Kino Kinuya, um, and got some manga. And the second part will be all the books I got from Barnes & Noble because I, I'm crazy and I went a lot. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, the first books are going to be the ones from Target. And the first thing I'm going to show you is not a book, but it is a movie. And that is The Book Thief. Uh, this stars Je uh, Jeffrey Rush, who I know from Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Emily Watson, who... I don't think I know, and Sophie, uh, no, I can't say that, um, but I just finished the book recently and I absolutely loved it, so when I saw this at Target while I was buying books, I had to have it. Alright, so the first book I got at Target is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt Scamander, Property of Harry Potter. Uh, I just needed this for my collection. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to read this. I might, you know, just like start picking it up here and there. Um, because I don't think it's like an actual story. I think it's just about the monsters that we see in Harry Potter. But I am really, really excited for, um, oh, that's really cute. I love the back. That's really cute. It's <laughs> hangman with, uh, it's Ron and, alright, or is it, I don't know, actually. Maybe it's Draco's. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but I do really badly want to see the movie when that comes out later in the year. And I had to have it because I, I have uh, Tales of Beelzebard and um, all the Harry Potter books. So this will go great with my collection. I'm going to stop rambling on about that. Uh, so the next book I got from Target was The Cruel Crown by Victoria Aviarn. I own the Red Queen, and um, I know the Glass Sword. The second book comes out uh, in February. I'm pretty sure it comes out next month. And this has was it two novellas, I believe. I think this is. I believe it's two novellas. So Queen Song and Steel Scars. I think. Uh, yeah, I think those are the two novellas in this bind-up. Um, but yeah, it's like 1.5 to Red Queen. So, yeah. I haven't read, read, I haven't read uh, Red Queen yet, but I've heard really good things about it. And so when I saw this at Target, I decided to pick it up. So the last book is the actual book that I went to get. I'm so excited to find this at Target because I wanted to get it Barnes Noble, but... I just didn't really have a lot of money at the time, and I really wasn't looking forward to paying full price. And I had a Target gift card, so I decided to use that on books and, you know, stuff like that. So I got Passenger by Alexander Bracken, which, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I can't stop looking at it. Um, and also I love the, I'm going to take the dust jacket off. The actual book it's so beautiful now the thing is I have um, I have read Alexandra Bracken's Darkest Minds I've only read the first book I haven't read um, the rest of the trilogy but I didn't like the Darkest Minds so I have no uh, desire to pick up the rest of the trilogy so but I heard about this one this one has to do with time travel and stuff like that and a lot of people love it so I'm really hoping that I will like it too um, cause it wasn't really the writing that annoyed me, or I wasn't really annoyed about The Darkest Minds, I just wasn't really into it like everybody else was. I, I liked the writing. I, I guess I just didn't really like the characters and I didn't like the way it ended. I have that, I have trouble with that, you know, if it doesn't end right for me, I have no desire to pick up the rest and I mean, I sort of like The Darkest Minds, I kind of like the plot and like, I I was kind of into it, but then it was like, I have no desire to pick up the rest of them. So I think I'm actually going to like 
this one a lot. I don't know if it's a tr I don't know if it's part of a series. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say. Uh, I think it might be part of a child or about part of a series, but part of me really hopes that it's a standalone. That would be nice. But it doesn't say if it is or not, if it's book one or not. So we shall see. Alright, so that's all I got at Target. So then I went to Kinokuniya and I picked up manga. Of course, I picked up five and six of Nisekoi, uh, story and art by Nayo Shikomi. Uh, funny story is I'm actually showing this kind of... Uh, I'm showing you these even though I haven't shown you because I was at Barnes & Noble and I got the other ones in the series of Barnes & Noble. So, um, yeah, you're seeing this prematurely, kind of. Uh, I should have shown you this when I did my Barnes & Noble haul, but whatever. doesn't matter. I got five and six uh, at Kino Kanuya because I just, I really want to start collecting the series. Now, um, oh, I wish, damn it, I don't have my phone. Okay, so, uh, it was really funny. I went to Kino Kanuya and then... Uh, I was talking to a friend, and he told me that he has this app on his phone, and it's called Zingbox, and um, he gets all the manga for free on his phone. So, I mean, I'm thinking I am going to buy certain mangas, but like the big series for me, like Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, stuff that I, I've been thinking about buying, I might just read there, you know, on my phone, because that, it's free. I don't have to pay for anything, and I think it'll be perfect. So, I was really happy about that. So, if you didn't know about Zingbox, maybe you guys want to check it out. I wish I had my phone with me and I, I could show it to you, but yeah, uh, I think it's all the way over there, and I don't want to go and grab it. But yeah, I did get into Sequoia 5 and 6, and I do want to collect the rest of the series. I think there's only 12 volumes out so far, so I have to get the rest. Um, and then the last manga I got there was... Say I Love You by Kane Hazuki, and this one I saw, I just, you know, I was just randomly looking, I was, I wanted to get one that I didn't know anything about, that looked kind of good, and this one did, so this one is about a girl who I believe was, uh, hurt somehow, or, yeah, she was betrayed, I don't know what happened, um, but she has all these walls up, and then this guy, really likes her and wants to be with her and so he has a lot of work ahead of him to get her to say I love you and I think that's all of you know so I I only got volume one because I didn't know if I would like it or not so we'll see if I like it I'm gonna pick up the rest so yeah all right so now book outlet I went a little crazy uh funny story is too I actually opened this I went through it because I was looking for a coupon uh you know how uh, book outlet gives you the um five uh, dollars off coupon if you I think if you get 30 or more or if you thirty dollars or more or something like that I didn't get one sad face um so yeah so I opened it went through it anyway I was gonna say this to you guys for an unboxing but that didn't happen but I did order two more packages from Bacallet and I believe two more packages from Amazon as well so you guys are going to be, you know, just expect a lot of books for the next book haul, which will probably be another couple of weeks. Alright, so the first books on here are, I own book one, these are book two and three of the series. I own book one, but they're going to be different covers, so I'm probably going to end up going out and picking up book one again in the same cover. And that is uh, The Wall of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson, and A Hero of Ages, also by Brandon Sanderson. This is, uh, I believe, book two. Yeah, this is book two and three in the um, Mistborn series, and I do have Mistborn or The Final Empire, but that's in the UK edition, and these are the US editions, so what I'm going to do is buy uh, Mistborn in the US edition. Uh, I did start reading Final Empire sometime last year, and I was really liking it, but for some reason, I was just in the mood to pick everything else up. You know how it is when you're reading a book and you're really liking it, but you just have all of these other books that you really want to get to. So I put it down because I believe I had to pick up another book uh, and never picked it back up. So yeah, these I got these two and hopefully I can marathon this trilogy. And I know there's like a second trilogy to it as well. 
The uh, next book I have is also a sequel, and that is Ice Kissed by Amanda Hawking. This is book two in the Canon Chronicles, uh, which is like a spin-off of the Trill, I believe, the Trill series. Now, I do own the Trill trilogy, as well as Frostfire, which is the first book in the Canon Chronicles. Now, all I have to do is get Crystal Kingdom, and then I could just marathon that whole thing. Because I haven't exactly read it all, any of it yet. I just, I don't know, for some reason. I just keep finding them, like, kind of cheap, so I end up buying them. So, uh, the next one I have is also a uh, part of the trilogy, and that is Infinite by Jenny Meadows. This is the third and final book in the uh, Incarnate trilogy, which I really didn't like what they did uh, to my book. Uh, can you tell? Yeah, you can see that. Like, like this, uh, this doesn't, oh god, I can't do this. This doesn't bother me, but this does. That really does. Okay, so, oh well. Um, oh, that's pretty. I like that. I like the color schemes of these books. So I do own Incarnate and Asunder, which is books one and two. And now I have the third and final, so I can marathon the, uh, the series. Alright, so the next one I have is a book that I, I read a couple years ago. I absolutely loved it. And that was A Midsummer's Nightmare by Cody Keplinger. Um, I read this one after The Duff, because I really loved The Duff and I wanted something else by Cody Keplinger. So I went and I got this one and I loved it so much. It was so good. And I believe this is also done in like the same uh, place as uh, The Duff. I, I don't know if it's like the same school or not. Could be. I don't even know. But I believe it is in like the same, uh, like, it could be like the same town or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember really. But I really did love uh, this book. And oh, this is about a girl who uh, goes to a party sleeps with a guy, and, uh, you know, it's like one night stand kind of thing, it's just, it's over, it's done, you know, and then, um, she finds out her dad is engaged, and is getting married to, uh, a woman she's never met, and she then meets her and her family, and she finds out that the guy she slept with is the fiance's son, so, yeah, that's gonna, be, this was actually really good, and I really liked it, and, so yeah, I really like Cody Cupwinger. Uh The next one I got was Anti-Goddess by Kendra Blake. This is a Greek mythology uh, retelling or something like that. I know this has Athena and Hera and ooh, Cassandra's in it too. So yeah, this is... I already own this book, but I knew they were going to do a cover change, and they did. And so I decided to get the new cover of Anti-Goddess and get rid of my other one. So, yeah. The next one I got was Prophecy by Ellen, or er, not Prophecy, uh, Warrior by Ellen O. This is the sequel to Prophecy. I don't exactly know what any of this is about. I remember buying Prophecy a year or so ago, and I don't remember anything about it. Um, but I do own it, and it's over there. It's actually right up there can't really tell it, but it's by uh, all the right places and everything, everything and stuff like that. So I saw this on Book Outlet, which is the sequel, and I decided to pick it up. Alright, so the last book I got from Book Outlet is one that I wasn't even uh, planning on getting. This just, uh, I looked up, I was looking up another author, one that I really love, and I wanted to see if Book Outlet had any of the uh, if that author's uh, books. And I saw this one, and it's not really by that author, but um, it was there anyway, and I decided to pick it up. And that is The Fire Wish by Amber Lowe, and the author I was looking for was Tamara, uh, Tamara Pierce, and uh, she has, actually has a blurb up here. And that says, War, Magic, and Romance kept me reading nonstop. And I love Tamara Pierce so much. So, I know, this, just, this one just kept... Uh, coming up over and over and over again and I'm like okay well you know it looks good and of course the magic lamp sold me um and then it also says a genie a princess and the wish that changes everything that sounds really good so and it's just a red cover 
nothing too special, but you know, it sounds really good, and I love genies and princesses and stuff like that. And also Lainey Taylor blurbed, and she said, a fantastically compelling and romantic read from a shiny new voice in YA. So it's like, I have to read this one, it looks really good, and yeah, we shall see. I might really enjoy this one. I love the Arabian Nights, you guys know that, so this one I might really love. Alright guys, so that's it for this part. I will be filming the second part very soon. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.